greetings again. It's a bolted connection video for you this time. So bolted connections in Invento are very useful for adding bolts, washers, nuts, all in one handy operation. But you may not be aware that you can actually add multiple bolted connections in one go as well. So multiple sets of bolts, washers and nuts. Um, and the simple trick for that is that you need a feature pattern on which to base the bolted connection pattern. Okay, so we're gonna drill down and look at that now. What I've got here is this bracket. I want to add two bolted connections, one here and one here. I don't want a bolted connection on the middle hole there. So I'm gonna just double click on this bracket and I can see the whole pattern as a feature in there. It's just one extra hole. So there's the original hole and there's the whole pattern. Okay, and um, I'm gonna return up to the top level of the assembly now and add the bolted connection. So there's a couple of ways of doing this. In fact, I'll probably show you both just for the fun of it. So method number one, go to the design tab and hit bolted connection. When I do that, I then uh, get to choose whether it's a blind or an open hole. I won't go into all the detail here. I'm just gonna use a blind hole in this case. And I'll, the important thing is I'm going to place my bolted connection by hole. Okay, so if I pick by hole here, and then pick my start plane, which is that plane, and then pick the existing hole. So I can pick this hole. I don't think it needs to be the original hole in the pattern, but it's probably safe to make it the original hole in the pattern. And then my blind start plane, in this case, is where that bolted connection is gonna end. I'm just gonna pick that face there, okay? Um, in fact, this should probably be a through hole, shouldn't it? Here we are, let's make that a through hole in this case. Uh, that's fine. Um, and then here's the important bit is I can tick this box to follow a pattern because Inventor recognizes that this hole is patterned in the part itself. So if I hit follow pattern, now you can see I've got a preview here and then it's just a case of using the normal uh, bolted connection tools to add the washer and the nut on there. So I can click to add a fastener up here. Plenty of information online about this or in the help files. Um, Content center will take longer to load if you are not filtering it by a particular international standard. So filtering it is probably a good idea, which I haven't done here. Okay, so I'm gonna pick the, uh, the bolt that I want. Doesn't matter too much for the sake of this. I'll just pick a standard hex head. And then I can pick a, uh, if I select a fastener here, I could pick a washer and a nut on the other side if I want. Okay, so I'll pick that washer and I'll just, uh, the other side of the hole down here, I'm gonna place a washer in a nut. Okay, so please remember if you've gone to all the trouble to specify this slightly strange looking joint, save it for next time. Remember you can hit this expand button here and you can say add. So then if I do that, I'm just gonna call this Luke's connection probably shouldn't use dodgy, dodgy um, characters like that. And I'm just going to say OK. That will then be available for next time. So I'm just going to hit OK here, um, create my, um, my new bolted connections. So that's fine. That's one way of doing it. And I've added two bolted connections in one go there. OK. Um, the second way of doing it, if I just delete that, is actually just to use the um, if I delete that bolted connection as well, is just to use the normal content center tool. So if I go to assemble and place from content center down here, I can then pick the bolt that I want. So I'm just gonna pick a uh, flanged hex head bolt, that's fine. And then I can hover over the, the circular edge of the hole, make sure you get it in the right direction. And then it's just a case of using these tools here. So um, I want to follow the pattern in this case. Um, and then I can apply a bolted connection to it as well. So if I say bolted connection here, and then I can apply, um, excuse me, yeah, so I pick the start plane. I need to pick the termination plane here. And then I can apply my bolted connection from last time. So if I just say set for that, that will then apply that bolted connection. And here's that follow pattern button again. So if I hit follow pattern, I've now got two bolted connections on there, just like before. And I can say, okay, and create those all in one go. Okay, just one last thing. If you're using this place from content center button here, make sure you've got auto drop ticked here. 
and also make sure that you are filtering by the desired international standard just to help you out. Okay, hope this is really helpful for you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>